Hello. Hello. Check, check. One, two, one, two. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear me. Excellent. I can hear you now. Kind of. Cool. Oh. Uh, yeah, today we've got the semi-finals happening. We just have the one series in front of us. And, uh, if we take a look at the bracket, we can see whoever wins is going to be facing Kopi in the grand finals. And then, uh, we're throwing this version of Duelist, I guess, into the garbage forever, and we're going into a totally new game. It's going to be seven cards in hand and more reworks than we've ever seen. So that'll be cool to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. As for uh, the next set we've got, we've got uh, Vinator, Rockin, Maven, Ragnora, and we've got Nyx, Nyx, Nyx with Kara and Starhorn. We've seen a lot of them. These decks don't need any introduction. Uh, just going to be a mystery which one comes out first. Uh, I would guess we see the Rag come out first because we've been seeing a lot of that. And uh, maybe it meets another Lizard on the other side. Who knows? Might see a World Core. Right. Okay. Let's cool. set up game number one. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. It is the semifinals. Game number one. Brought to you by Charles and Argibus for the cast. Going in three, two, one. Let's start. Okay, so we're indeed seeing the banner opener. Definitely got Rag on the loose. We've got Skywing, which was inspired by Pokemon of some sort. If you're familiar with Gen 2, then you might know this one. I actually do not know that one. <laughs> it, it was the Mythic from Silver. If you actually played Gold, you got the Phoenix instead. But yeah, this is a white recolor of Lugia. Pretty nice. Uh, and then there was, uh, I think Frostva was inspired by Lucario, and I think there was another inspiration Pokemon in here too. We got the Dream Opener, Crypto, and then we got a funny Vanar Opener. A bunch of walls plus the Skywing anyway. This would be the dream to have the enchantment that every time that you kill a minion you get a ripper, but instead we've got the Zoetic Charm. But Vinator is set for the Egg Factory. This Dust Whaler would be pretty nice, but it's a little too expensive even with the discount. Amber Worm on, per on six is uh, that's pretty nuts. Hopefully the Skywing or Skywing gets stick. Especially, yeah, running Spirit of the Wild too. Mm. Yeah, you can fly to the other side, get a hit, and then reactivate, get another hit. So to protect the Skywing, a much more attractive target to blow up appears. Here's the Wisp. And Skywing's just going in anyway, so I can uh, make sure that the stripper pile goes down. Ends up trading the Skywing for it. Which is a turn back, but denying the Ripper is totally worth it. And usually the player with the malicious whips is the player with the advantage. Uh, like having a three mana turn here is pretty sad for being a Thor. But does have a Lavalance handy. Wisp wipes out. And the further Nyx moves to the left, the worse this Dust Whaler becomes, because it needs things in the left to shoot on 
opening gambit. Yeah. So there's a bit of tension there. But uh, the side of the board is better for reactivating stuff. Yeah, Venator definitely wants to stay on the other side. So it's good stepping forward and putting that egg to make yeah. it. Yeah. Move back. Five mana. Just dropping a luminous charge without the plus one plus one buff is not that appealing. No, I think probably just takes a step back, hits the egg, and then tries to wall in with luminous charge around the nature. Yeah, that seems better than just full pass, not doing anything, because at least in the following turns there's flyers. So the Luminous Charge, mostly containing this Mentor. Okay. It's, it's a good placement. Yeah, only needs one of them to connect. Uh, a Lightbender could spell three of them at most. Venator might be eyeing that up right now, so the Bloodbound Mentor can escape safely. And if these, yeah, two steps up, this actually plays directly into the Dust Whaler. Because <laughs> I was definitely thinking two steps up as well, but <laughs> then we caught a glimpse of Nick's sand. response from Venator is probably going to be to Lava Slasher it and then make an egg. War Beast is also something, but it's probably saved for something else better. So here's a Golem that enables Rage Binder. Pretty nice. Nyx is going to be able to drop an Ember Worm somewhere next turn, though, and these walls can help with placement of it. And there's some shenanigans here with Flawless Reflection and Replicant and all these token walls, so there could be a ton of Ember Worms. Could go for the zero power menu next to it and just frenzy it for free. But the wall exploding would deal some chip damage to the mechanator, but that doesn't stop the worm. In fact, does anything? Is this gonna have to be like a raw light bender, but then the stats are an issue? Mm. <laughs> this is an, an innocuous threat that just like cannot be played around right now. So Vinator are just going to push in some damage. Actually makes a decent line of minions. Yeah. So definitely the silenced ember worm, but at least it's not flying, so it's not just gonna reach out and win. It was a good play because it was lethal, so. Yeah. I had to take out the wall or else... Flawless Reflection and Gravity would like immediately happen and yeah. there'd just be dragons everywhere.
lot of hit points to work with. Nyx has got to be pretty careful here. Uh, maybe the Emberworm blows up one of these two bottom minions. And go Seraphim makes an appearance. Although, Seraphim's a lot nicer when you can immediately cast something afterwards. That's a big impact. Maybe it'll be Gravity Well with the Purple and the Kinetic Surge. But still spending all mana. And then there's some threat of the false reflection next turn. Hmm. Although only eight mana. Gonna just go for the gravity wall. Cause at nine mana, Go Seraphim can just combo into flawless reflection. So here's just a ton of garbage that could potentially turn into it. There's an excellent spot for Warby Spell. Gets a quad kill. So the token's totally mopped up. And the Lava Lance to finish off the 10 4 dragon. And the combo in hand for Venator. What can even be done? Ideally, uh, replacing it into some sort of spell that would work with Ghost Seraphim right now in uh, a better way than what's going on here, because it's going to have to be changing an egg into a Rage Binder or something. Which is. And then using this as a blocker against the War Beast. That might be the best to take two steps right. Yeah, yeah, I like that play. And then maybe the flyers do something. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the Nator's holding lethal. Yeah. Anyways, I just realized. <laughs> Greater Fortitude's just here. We got yeah. multiple ways to wake up the egg. Skywing and the Wings of Paradise instead. This might be a better path to victory because these wings can at least reach out and deal some damage. But yeah, attacking here to make the egg, waking up the egg, and then buffing the egg just does so much damage. Even the bigger blocker wouldn't have done it. GG, we need for getting game number one. GG. Yeah, GG, GG. And then Vinator's got the uh, option to pick the deck based on what Nyx is picking next. And then can also pick the side. So maybe that'll play into some advantage here. Ready for game number two. Ready. We're going into it in three, two, one, let's go. V Nate Thor currently up 1-0 in this best of three. This actually just might be our last game. Short, we're like speedrunning the broadcast, shortest uh, session ever. Uh, or we could see uh, some draws again, and then it's like, <laughs> who knows how long. The four game series was pretty mm. funny though. And then the grand finals is gonna be a first of three win, so that's a best of five. That's coming up next. We've got the Golem opener. World Core is one turn closer. We got the double Silithar opener. Ooh, even better. How about a Silithar plus a... Uh, pretty strong up here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Get the eggs rolling immediately. Ooh, 
Nyx is moving pretty fast, though. Gotta love the turn two Lava Slasher. That's how I got as far as I did. Such a strong opener. Yeah, nice answer to whatever they're doing a lot of the time. Vinithor is obliged to lay an egg, but it's not really easy to find a spot for that. I guess two steps up and then BBS to the right might be best. There's some consideration for just blasting this Metallurgist with a Lava Lance. Other line of play is using a Lightbender, which is pretty medium because the Lava Slasher just eats it. Nyx has got the Flash Reincarnation, so this World Core could be showing up way earlier than Vinator would think. Okay. This doesn't set up to capture the Mad Tile as easily, or with the General, but this does a better job kind of blocking Nyx in. Stopping Nyx from easily getting the mana himself. Yeah, passing with the uh, mana and the card to play. Uh, I guess valuing cards in hand more, because there's not a lot of card draws, so this is here is like a replace fodder. I would have played so far in her long slash, isn't it? So that couldn't happen. Yeah. The, the, the nature is falling behind in tempo now, and it's all kind there of. There is so much stuff on the board out for Nyx. <sighs> and the hand is looking so good. This Lightbender doesn't do a whole lot. This mentor, there's no safe places to drop the eggs. <laughs> Silithar is still here. It could have complicated the Kajada placement, I guess, but. Core is coming next turn. There's some consideration to not run it out until the combo's here. Because my hot induction would reset if the minion got summoned. True. And the mana gets eaten anyway, so that's not coming. This line of play from the nature, I think, is probably optimal. Yeah, this mentor is nice and safe in the back. Doesn't need to tangle with the Slava Slasher much. Nyx has to choose whether to kill the egg or kill it, the minions. Probably. You basically always kill the egg, like 99% of the time. It's pretty much a complete mistake to not. But there's another egg token in the hand, so it's not as like it's foolproof you know. Hmm. Seeking eye for some extras. Selfar for one is pretty cheap. Might want to run it out. Gonna use Egg Morph to delete the Mentor, so Venator can't spam these eggs.
half of his lytic. So I got the two pips on it. Couldn't use up all of his mana though. Bit awkward, but that's probably good there. I think we're gonna see World Core. <laughs> it's time. Even though the combo isn't here to support it, this is such a removal check, and an egg morph was already used to take out the mentor. Might as well run it out. Yep. Even though there's two more egg morphs. Make them use them up. Yeah. Nope. Six mana world core! Yep. Here it comes. is finally hatched and here's the egg to immediately answer world core but my metonic induction showed up just on time oh that's no. the money draw because <laughs> if there was just like a mall and Tiltar uh, stuck nyx wouldn't be able to do anything but fish for cards with seeking eye but since it showed up yeah it's it would like... be at would be, would have been at seven. Yeah, so could could have looked for one more <laughs> card here. Yeah. We need to hit for twenty five. Next, 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 tying up the series one one. Good stuff. What a tie. Yeah. What a game to tie it up. <laughs> that that was one hell of a draw. I'll tell you that. Although he was playing like he had it in hand all along. It's like he got the confidence to just uh, make yep. it work. Yeah. All right. The finale game between Venator and Nyx to the power three. Ready for game three. Ready. We're going into it in three, two, one. Let's go. We're here. Rematch. Same decks. Whose soul burns brighter? We got a lot of combo pieces. And a turn one crypto again. This is definitely the Oprah of choice. Because you get like them stressing about the eggs immediately. The mods are going to get good eating if they can get in. See the mall opener. Gonna probably see Golem on the mana plus the egg in the back. But the egg could be just hit by the Silithar. <laughs> because Diagonal Leg Leg is strictly forbidden. It's it's one of the best changes, I think. I think it's an extremely fair change for Rag. Yeah, like 3 1 Undying Celerity is so nuts that uh, at least limiting it to the four squares is good. And then Brom got like the bit of an update, he can drop on any of the four squares instead of just in front of him. And who knows what's gonna happen next week or next month. 
<laughs> Maybe that combo of Anar deck would be really good if everyone's doing board based stuff. Or just get every artifact and go to town. That would be funny to play with. Next has got kind of a slow hand, like a Kujata plus Taskmaster doesn't have anything to wrap out. Needs to basically draw a Juggernaut immediately. Might as well play them. Yeah, this Taskmaster is really threatening. Neutral, uh, inner focus, pretty much. A perfect combo with the world cores whenever they show up. But also really good with Jug, because it hits it and generates stuff and makes it activate. But drew the wrong golem. Lab Slasher is a little small. for the egg to stick. <laughs> Replacing and finding more lava slashers. I guess it's going to be a slasher to take out the force field and then another to take out the egg or something. Or just slash the egg. Yeah. This Taskmaster could walk to the left and activate the lava slasher. Oh, never mind. Juggernaut is here. So this could be flashed and taskmastered for six mana with the one discount. This seems like a really good next turn for Nyx. Yeah. <clears throat> Progenitor has nothing to work with, so it just gets cycled back. One turn late for Picanter. Avalance. Avalanche actually on the Taskmaster must be it, because that slows the jug down a bit. Or I guess homeostatic rebukes to take out the Kujata is kind of similar. But doesn't actually deal with much. Mm. Probably lava plus crypto plus egg. Yeah. <laughs> this would be a really cool interaction. Cool Taskmaster. Taskmaster on the jugger, but uh Okay. So it's the homeostatic rebuke. So it's only the Taskmaster left, but it get, eats the lab lance in the end for the full clear. Oof. What? It wouldn't. Uh, that was a yeah, yeah. No, lot of material deleted for this. Yeah, yeah, that that works really well. And a juggernaut could come out. That might be worth it. Uh, the obvious line of play is use Lava Slasher on the egg to not give them a ripper. Or this is just the Rage Binder, so it's not that dangerous. Maybe drop a Jugger. I don't know. One problem though is this eggs are going to be Macanter food. Okay, uh, 
diamond golem's pretty tough. It's like a 5'11 or something funny. But it itself gets egged. Probably just gonna leave with this uh, crystal skull. Or this is just a just a blood shard. Man, I forget what it's called. <laughs> the neutral one no one ever uses. Yeah. You fight it a lot in Labyrinth. Nyx doesn't have parts of his combo, but Vinator definitely does. Just needs some way to wake up an egg and then is good to go. But could buff this Ripper up so much. Uh, it might have to just get Lava Slasher. A lot of value out of this Zoetic Charm. Shard stats are a pretty miserable matchup to what Rage Rider's doing, so it just runs. We night door cannot wake up an egg, but could make a 6 6 mechanter. Doesn't do much, but it looks cool. <laughs> Guess it would help the Lava Slasher get cleared. Yeah, I'm thinking taking a step up and... Oh, this works well too. <laughs> Bonking the Vacanter into the egg. Pushing some pretty nice damage. Nyx might have to throw an egg morph on this Vacanter. Could heal up a tiny amount of Ragewinder? It's still baseline of replacing. Most cards that are drawn probably aren't beating it. BBS finds another copy of Eggmorph. Hmm. <laughs> Vinator needs those. Uh, world Core is here. Okay, pieces of Exodia are being assembled. Binder somewhere safe with the uh, mechanter, which immediately gets egged. <laughs> Definitely running into uh, hand issues though. Nyx is gonna have to really get some value out of this seeking eye. Time for Lance, gets rid of the left slasher. And this Zoetic is just unstoppable. This wall is real nice. Where's a blistering scorn when you need one? Not in this deck. Yeah. Ama does some impression. It's possible actually to clear the Zoetic, but then it would result in a huge strand. Running away and using the Rage Finder might be a better way to block. Okay, just take another one of the eggs. World Core check. <laughs> Can't activate it immediately, but Vinator is now at death's door. World Core is knocking. But we can 
Let's see, six, nine damage. Here's an egg, it's woken up, that's another plus ten. It looks like Vinator is headed to the Grand Finals. Yeah, congratulations, Nyx, for getting third. Pretty good fight, but grass to Vinator. Going Jeez. all the way to the final stage. Excellent stuff. Real nice. And uh, that puts uh, Nyx into the $25 zone where uh, Helgen can hook you up with that. And then the other two are going to be battling it up for the top prize. So unique trophy from Yuko and unique general back and the rest of the pot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then immediately after that, the whole game flips on its head. It doesn't look like anything of what we've been looking at. <laughs> it's uh, just good to get a, uh, a lens on what the game looked like, you know? Where we sent it on its way oh, to you know. 2.0. It's uh, it's 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 uh, it's exciting times for Duelist, so yeah, things are gonna be changing up. Yup, yup. Could have put it better myself. Uh, let's call it a show, and we'll see you all for the finals. Adios, soon. Right. And thanks, thanks again, Juice, for jumping on the cast. Good times. Hey, thanks right. for having me. Thanks, Helgen. Thanks all. Later. See.